one. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, this is really not working. Dang it. Oh, okay, let me try it again. Ah, wonderful. Pills. I do not feel good. You look like hell, cheapy. What's wrong? Uh, stupid move screwed up a lot of stuff, and now I'm getting sick. It's annoying. Hey, if you're feeling like crap, you can go relax. Um, what do you mean? I know the next game you were supposed to review. It was Binding of Isaac, right? I know what you want to say about the game. I got a little time with it, too. Oh yeah, when you did your computer fried. How's your tablet working, by the way? It works. Now go lie down and get some sleep. You know what? Sounds like a good idea. I trust you with it. Hello world. This is Bix, the open source loving dinosaur, and I'm here to review The Binding of Isaac. It's a strange little game, bringing together the play mechanics of old school Zelda games, creepy visuals, and music akin to Silent Hill, and the art style of Invader Zim. It sounds very schizophrenic, but as a package it works very well together in a wonderfully macabre indie game. This is a wonderful game, blending together the elements of horror and humor, getting that feeling of helplessness that the Silent Hill franchise is famed for, while mixing in a good amount of pitch black humor. You're going to chuckle a bit when you grab items like mom's underwear or mom's lipstick, but then you realize this is a young kid who's wearing his mom's clothes and makeup, and the mother is trying to kill him. Now, if only the asshat didn't rely on his crap recording software. It took him at least a week trying to find something that worked, and even then he couldn't get the sound to record. The worst part of the sound not recording is that the music is the best I have heard in a game ever. I mean it. Sure, there is great music in other games, but the music is so good in Binding of Isaac that the game would be worse off without it. The all-important atmosphere, that combination of gameplay, controls, and music, would be all but crippled without the excellent music. It's simple and to the point, but that's what makes it good. If there is one thing I can say against this game, it is that the game itself is very unforgiving. You are given limited life, and if you happen to have a bad room right before the boss fight then you can kiss your abused lonely ass goodbye. Health replacement is few and far between, and the optional life sacrifice upgrades cut that down even more. In conclusion, even though this game is not open source it is a wonderful experience. The excellent gameplay, the exquisite music, and the wonderful feeling of sticking it to the Solace software companies makes this game a grand experience. So, from everyone here in the middle of nowhere shack I bid you goodbye. That wasn't so hard. I stuck to his stupid script and didn't go off of it, the inconsiderate asshat.